please give it up for Miss Wendy Gallo! that you did not leave when he announced my name. <laughs> First step over with. You know, we were talking about names, stage names, a couple of weeks ago, and Tom said, do you guys want to use a stage name? I said, well, you know, I've always really liked the name Gwen. You know, Gwen Gallo, that's kind of catchy, right? He goes, will anyone know you by that name? I'm like, no. So why'd you ask us? Anyway, but Judy, Judy thought that I should put it in quotes, you know, Wendy Gwen Gallo. Tom thought maybe in the future it could be a single, Gwen. But well, all right, everybody seemed to like it. It caught on and everyone's been calling me Gwen since then. <laughs> so I figured if all you guys want to call me Gwen, please feel free to do so. I only ask that you please Use the quotes. I hate when people spell my name wrong. <laughs> so, um, I am married. Yes, I am. And uh, my husband thinks that he's this really traditional kind of guy, you know? <laughs> he, he thinks that, you know, he's the one that should carry the trash out, right? Okay. And he thinks that he's the one that should carry all the heavy things up the stairs for me. Okay. Yeah. But he's really way more helpful than that, honestly. He does washes all the dishes. Wait, 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 wait a second. He only washes his dishes. But you know what? It's okay, because he straightens up the entire living room, so that's great. No, wait a minute. He only picks up his crap in the living room. <laughs> you know, I'm getting kind of tired of this bullshit. <laughs> Next time, I'm only going to wipe down my half of the bathroom counter. <laughs> I'm only going to make my half of the bed. <laughs> Next time we have sex, I'm only going to do myself. <laughs> Twice. doubled my odds at having an orgasm. <laughs> you know, they say that the, uh, the frequency of sex dwindles a little as you get older, right? It decreases. Well, I don't know about that, but I can tell you the heat sure doesn't, at least not for women. And I get so frustrated trying to explain to my husband and to other men like what it is that we go through as we get older. I finally figured out how to explain hot flashes to my husband. I said, huh, hot flashes are just like wet dreams, only it's my whole body that ejaculates. <laughs> Another thing that changes as you age is your period. Yes, I said. Now, I could have said menstruation, but Lord, that turns even men off of sex, right? <laughs> I could have said my friend. We used to call it that, remember? My friend. With friends like that, who the hell needs enemas? <laughs> I was shopping um, a couple of weeks ago with my 12-year-old niece, and she proceeded to put a, a bag of Oreo cookies in the cart. Now, I admit I was a little bit cranky, but I calmly asked her to put the cookies back on the shelf. Well, she looked at me and said, I can beat you up. I'm in karate class, and I will get my sensei to make you give me those cookies back because he's a black belt, and that means he's stronger than you. Well, I looked right back at her and said, for all to hear, well, little karate girl, you tell your black belt sensei that I'm a red belt in tampon dough. <laughs> and if he thinks he can take me on, well, he can give it a try. Until then, put the freaking cookies back! <sighs> you 
You know, I, I realize now I must have really confused that poor little girl by asking her to put these cookies back because on the next aisle I threw ten Hershey bars in the cart and headed home. <laughs> I was laying in bed and I, um, I actually found my hips. Now, I know what you're thinking. Lord, woman with hips like that, how the hell do you lose them? But I'll tell you something, hips are just like boobs, right? Boobs slide right into your armpits when you lay down. Well, hips sink deep into the fat. So I found my hip bones, but I also found a ham bone a chicken bone, and the dog's bone with the dog still chewing on it. So the good news is I found my hip bones. The bad news is that damn boot camp must be working and I have no excuse not to go. I do not mind exercising so much. I like it better when my sister comes to visit. She likes to walk, and she walks really, really fast. She's like the Energizer Bunny all the time. She's even fast inside the house. The last time she came to visit, she decided to declutter my entire house, which I'm okay with, because I don't really like clutter. We gathered up a whole bunch of stuff. I believe in paying it forward. So we set up two tray tables outside, put a free sign on it, put the stuff on it, and went around our errands. When we came back, all the stuff was on the ground and my tray tables were gone. <laughs> the flowers were gone. The other car was gone. <laughs> My husband, yeah, he was still there. <laughs> no, 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 I, I love my husband. I love him very, very much. I mean, without my husband, I'd have to start dating again. <laughs> the last date I went on was really, really strange. First of all, this guy was a geek among geeks, and that is really hard to accomplish. And he wasn't a very good conversationalist either. At one point in the evening, he leaned over and said to me, eggplant makes my brain fuzzy. Uh, check please. <laughs> now, not a big fan of eggplant. I don't know about anybody else. My brother though, he loves vegetables, all kinds of vegetables. We were eating dinner one night when we were young and my brother was just chowing down on his salad. And my sister turned to him and said, Edward, you're going to be a vegetarian when you grow up. And he goes, oh, no, 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 I'm not. I'm still going to be a Gemini, right, Mom? <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever notice how men and women converse differently? No, nobody's ever noticed that, right? <laughs> well, we may converse differently, but I can tell you the results are always the same. Two women and a man are sitting at a table and they're discussing, the women of course, they're discussing this wedding that they had just went to. For 20 minutes they go over every single little tiny diesel of the wedding that they could possibly think of. 20 minutes. They turn to the guy and say, well what did you think of the wedding? What wedding? <laughs> now two men and a woman are sitting at a bar and one guy turns to the other and says, hey what did you think of Kobe's shot percentage in the game the other night? Hey, I was pretty impressed by that. Hun, what did you think of the game? What game? <laughs> Always the same. So I work, in, um, I work in restaurant facilities. And all that really means is we make sure all the equipment in the restaurants is working 100% of the time. Right? 100% of the time. Ha! No, really. We try. <laughs> so I guess because I work in facilities, people just assume that I'm a DIYer. You know, a do-it-yourselfer. And they gave me a Home Depot card as a thank you. <laughs> Not wanting to disappoint the new boss, I trudged off to Home Depot to buy my remote garage opener. My neighbor had just installed one. He said, oh, it only takes five minutes. Great, the perfect project. <laughs> 20 minutes later. I've got the thing installed, but I cannot get the thing to work. So I finally decided I'd be smarter than a man and call the 800 number and ask for help. <laughs> hey, the truth is what it is, baby. <laughs> so I called the 800 number and uh, the number was out of service. <laughs> Great, okay, so I did my research, thank God for the internet, right? I don't know what people did before that. I found another number to call. 
I got through, and you know, myriad of option press this, and option press that, and option press this. I finally got to installation instructions. Yeah, I'm almost there, baby. Press that button. Beep. I'm sorry, our office is currently closed. Please call back Monday through Friday between the hours of 8 and 5. What? Your office is closed on a Saturday when 85% of America is actually doing the DIY projects? Good Lord. I gave up. I put it aside. I said, I'll come back to it later. When did I come back to it? On Saturday, because I work for a living. So the next Saturday, I pick it up. I said, all right, I'm just going to start all over again. I'm going to read the directions from the very top. Well... <laughs> Those of us that use computers know that anything on the computer screen that is grayed out means don't touch it, it's not available, you can't do it. The first set of instructions on that piece of paper were grayed out. Didn't even register in my brain to read them. They were the key to the entire thing. 30 seconds later, I had a garage opener working. Five minutes, uh-huh. So now the guys all tell me, you are an official DIYer. Oh, no, no, no. I'm still going to be a Libra. <laughs> Thank you very much. Just 